look around, standing right in the center of what's called Foyer East. Uh, this is the East Entry Hall of the Aero Show. You see the RX-1E, uh, the American company, American Aero Marine LSA. They have two airplanes now that they say they can sell you with an electric motor, and they have a new electric motor that's quite interesting. We continue around the circle here, and we see the song known in the USA as the ULS. That's the same aircraft. It's a Czech design, and it will continue on around here. We'll see the E-Genius, actually. Then we come back over here, and we'll see some trikes. Uh, again, these are electric-powered with some very smooth fuselages around them. So a very interesting aircraft. And finally, continuing on around the circle here, we'll see the back there behind the signage for this uh, motor company, electric motor company, Rotex. That's not Rotax, it's Rotex Electric. Anyway, behind them is the Phoenix with the electric motor on it. We saw this one here last year and had an additional video of it. Not all of the aircraft at Aero 2015 are big, expensive, carbon fiber speedsters that go really, really fast. Some of them are what I would call some really fun airplanes. I love trike flying. This is from a company, well, there's two elements here. This is an electric-powered trike, and when talking with the motor manufacturer uh, or yesterday, I discovered that this uh, black battery pack down here is good for a 45-minute flight. So in many cases, 45 minutes is going to be plenty of flying. The motor is about a 20-horsepower motor. Of course, these things are always evaluated in kilowatts, and I believe the number was about 15 kilowatts, which is roughly, I think, 18 or 20 horsepower. I'm doing this from memory, so pardon me if I haven't got the numbers quite right there for you. But the company is one I've known very well. I visited them in Kiev, Ukraine. This is the Eros company. They make this uh, handsome wing up here, and they do make a whole line of hang gliders that are quite competitive in the worldwide hang glider develop, uh, community. And they also make this trike, which is a very handsome trike. And we're going to go have a look at how small that package, package is up. You can see perhaps down here on the uh, landing gear struts that it appears to have folding capability. Indeed it does. Let's go have a look inside the bag, if you will, uh, that you can collapse this entire trike down into uh, such a small form that it could be put in a fairly small car trunk and then the wing on top of the car and off you go to uh, to fly or back home after you're done flying. Let's go. So we looked at the trike in its completed form over there. Now we see it in the bagged form, I'll call it. And here's the entire trike we just saw. A different one, obviously. This one is red. The other one was white. But this one is all prepared to go in the trunk of your car with the wing on top of your car. And that makes for, I think, the smallest hanger I can imagine. So the Eros wing, the Eros trike, and the one we looked at earlier had an electric motor on it, but it's available with gasoline power as well. So now looking at the same trike that we saw in the bag, or one just like it anyway, not the exact same one, uh, this is the Eros production. Again, the wing, the trike are by the same company. They are not the ones doing the electric motors, however. They still do gasoline motors. This one has the Corsair, an Italian uh, uh, engine on the back of it, and the one behind us over there has the Polini engine on it. And in both cases, these are very lightweight trikes. Uh, that are flown with uh, essentially a hang glider wing that probably has some modification, I'm guessing, to accommodate the extra weight of an engine and power package associated with it. Eros is based in Kiev, Ukraine. They are one of the leaders in the hang glider community of producing wings that are very successful in competitions. And the Trek product is a newer product for the company, but obviously they've got it down pretty good. It looks very nice. And remember, this is the one that can pack up and go into a bag. Dan Johnson reporting here from Aero 2015.